Welcome to my channel. This is the Diamond Chrysalis, aka Divested Diamonds. This is Divestment with Purpose, and you have arrived. Hello, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for being here today. Please do me a favor and click the like button as you watch this video. Thank you. Thank you kindly. So today's premiere is in response to a British Tyrone who showed up on my channel and made a comment on this video right here. Because as the thumbnail illustrates, he saw himself in one of these pictures and was very triggered by my message. Therefore, felt the need to pour his heart out because I struck a nerve. I could have made a community post and left it there, but I felt like taking it a little bit further to speak to not only him, but other black males who might have a similar mindset. This clown, first came to my channel with this comment. It was about a month ago when he said this, men are not lonely. They're enjoying life without women as it's a lot more fun without them. Women can't stop talking about men they apparently don't want, but talk about guys who don't want them and go overseas to get better. It's women who need to step their game up and it'll be only a matter of time before women realize it's them who need to step up. Now, I don't know how he came to this conclusion, but such is the case with a lot of these males who know nothing about relationships. They think they have all the answers when really, all they're looking for is just a replacement for their mother. He's mad at me for doing a video based on an article from Psychology Today in which a male psychologist Dr. Matos was actually putting this information out there in an attempt to allow majority of these men to see where they were going wrong in relationships and hopefully do better. Unfortunately, even he got attacked for putting that information out there, which by the way, was based on facts. My thing is, if this is not happening in your neck of the woods, sir, then it doesn't apply to you does it? You, just like the unattractive Asian dude who came to my channel, seething because of this video and asked if I was single so he could pair me up with one of his black male friends, appeared to be the very people Dr. Matos was talking about. Your fragility is permeating through your toughness. And what that tells me is that you are nothing but a neglected little boy who most likely wasn't breastfed as a child. But I'm not your mother, so I'll give it to you straight. No chaser. You are lonely, sad, and pathetic. And the only reason you'd be cruising these YouTube streets looking for drama with women is because you're unattractive and possess no social skills, no emotional intelligence. When you first commented on my channel, it was called Divested Diamonds, was it not? The term divested alone should tell you that me interacting with toxic people such as yourself is off the menu, sweetheart. I would never interact with someone like you in real life because you operate beneath my social circle. Not only that, you appear to be low vibrational at best. Any so-called man who sits on the internet arguing with women needs a brand new pair of balls and shots of testosterone because babe, that's a bitch ass move. What you're really mad at is the fact that you're not being chosen and are venomous towards every black woman who doesn't pacify your inadequacies. 
I can't imagine what it's like being a loser because I've never been one. I just can't relate. So anyway, when he made his little comment, I obliged by responding to him. And this is what I had to say. You clearly know nothing about women and the awakening. I know how things work over there in the UK. Most of you don't marry these women and the baby mama epidemic is just as bad as it is the world over. Women are fed up of being at the beck and call of a group of people who don't meet their needs or even appreciate them. A lot of divorces are initiated by women and not men. Ask yourself why that is. Relationships, but marriage especially, benefits men more than it does women. That's not an opinion, that's a fact. There are more women today who are finding happiness in being single. Gone are the days when women had to contort themselves for the attention or approval of men. Women have done nothing but jump through hoops and try to prove their worth to men for centuries. There was a time when women needed men and that was all done by design. Those days are gone and women are becoming more picky with the types of men they allow in their personal spaces. Men need women more than women need men. Women are getting into relationships with men because they want to and not because they need to. The happiest demographic in the US are women who are child-free and unmarried. And of course, this exchange had been sitting on my channel for about a month until he came back a few days ago and responded to me. I read the first few lines and tuned out immediately because again, a lot of you dust buckets who flock to my channel to talk shit about me, marriage, or stats speak from an emotional standpoint, a lack of experience, and the fact that you're not winning at life. You are so bitter. You are so angry. A lot of you have hit the wall. Nobody wants you. And the only thing that makes you feel better about yourselves is engaging in conversation that you aren't qualified to even talk about. Yes, you are indeed lonely. That is why you laid out your life's complaints as talking points when deep down, all you wanted was someone to talk to. You cared enough to write this long essay because you had something to get off your chest. Why do you think I would care about what's going on in your personal life when I don't even know you? Why do you think I would care about you going to other countries to be with quote unquote foreign women who you can't compete with? And by you, he means us as brown melanated women. You know, the internet has really given a voice to these unattractive, low vibrational males who would otherwise never get any kind of attention at all from any real life woman and it shows. You're talking about foreign women to a woman living in a country that's foreign to you. What this is, is hatred for black women the world over. And what you mean by quote unquote foreign women is non-black women. You black males are pathetic and this is why you all are considered a joke to men of other races. Personally, you're not that interesting to me. And I don't know why you insist on frequenting my channel. You're angry because that article told the truth about a lot of you males. Like I said earlier, I read the first few lines of his vomit bleh, and responded to his nonsense because, well, he asked for it. This is what I had to say. I didn't read much of your gibberish and you're not triggering anything, LOL. I don't care much for the opinion of trolls, but I'll say this. A lot of you unattractive ghetto black males are salty because you think you deserve more in life when you really don't. Try to interact with lower tier women who are more your speed if you have any interest at all in the female form.
The way you talk about women shows your fragility and disrespect for them, and you will do well to be with a man. You are more suited to another man, not an adult human female. This is why black women especially need to stop giving B-I-R-T-H to BMs such as yourself because this is the trash they end up with. Black women really need to B-R-E-E-D you out because you don't appreciate what these women have to go through for you to even be here. You're a perfect example of the F-E-T-U-S that should have been aborted. Yikes! Sorry, not sorry. I said what I said and I meant that. Out of all the swimmers, this is the guy that made it? What a joke. A fucking disappointment. What a fucking waste of nine months. These types of males don't need to be seeking relationships because they are ill-equipped to be in one. Who wants to deal with such bottom-of-the-barrow trash? Imagine procreating with someone like this. What quality of offspring would you have? And that's a genuine question, by the way. Just think about it. Now, let me show you his full response and what he really had to say about women. Glad I can trigger you, and I know why I did. Marriage is a bad deal for men. I don't blame men at all. Women are spoiled children living in fantasy land, talking BS about men all the time. Now, men are doing something about it by simply leaving or going overseas, which women been doing since I was a child and possibly before I was born. I will never marry and have said so since I was a child. There's not a single thing I can't have from a relationship that a marriage can bring, so why get married? See, he can't even articulate himself properly. I don't understand this mindset. He acts as though someone's forcing him to get married. He sounds like someone put a gun to his head and demanded he get married. Bruh, I don't give a shit. The fact that you're online, pouring your lonely heart out to a total stranger about your childhood and how you don't value marriage shows the depth of your loneliness. You came to my channel hoping that I'd agree with you or perhaps say something to you that would change your mind. But here's the thing. I don't care. I'm not desperate for companionship. You are. You're only pretending not to care. You're only pretending to be unbothered. But the truth of the matter is, it bothers you. I told you, ladies, part of the reason they're online bitching about women all day is because they're looking for a shoulder to cry on, someone to talk to, someone they hope will listen to their shortcomings. What's really going on here is that they're hoping to find someone who will listen to their shortcomings, give them a chance, pacify their issues, but fuck that. I'm not your therapist and Dr. Matos was right. A lot of you are lonely, and this behavior right here clearly proves that. But let's continue. Stats prove marriage ain't worth it. Women call for divorce because it rewards them. Remember, they take half while men get what exactly? Again, majority of you black males have nothing to offer in the first place, so what half would any woman have to get? In cases of rich black men, that money very seldom goes to black women. It's pumped right back into the white community or communities of other races because the last thing that any of you would ever want to do is share that money, share that wealth with women who look like you. Black males who are in this tax bracket frown on that. They would rather spend their money with a woman who looks nothing like them. They're more than happy struggling with a black woman because at least they get to use her resources. Once they get their money and build some kind of status, all of a sudden, the black woman is beneath them, right? Because they elevate white skin over dark skin. These are known facts and you know it. The rest of you, however, 
live from paycheck to paycheck. And it's mentally and psychologically beneficial for the women that you end up marrying to divorce you so they could at least live the rest of their lives without your constant BS. The fact is, you're not marrying these women, are you? Because you'd rather have your cake and eat it too. You're the same people who complain about paying child support and how the system is against you when you know absolutely well that your children exist and that raising children costs money. If the government has to chase you around, forcing you to pay money to your ex-wife or baby mama in most cases for children that you know exist, you're a shitty parent. You are emotionally inept, you're unintelligent, and deserve everything you get. But I digress. Women, for the most part, file for divorce when they're not getting the bare essentials out of these relationships. The article mentioned how majority of these men lack emotional intelligence. And that, my friend, is a fact. The shit that comes out of MGTOW and the manosphere is a perfect example of that. It's absolutely insane that somehow you expect women to be understanding, cooperative, while putting up with your mediocre selves? For what reason exactly? Men benefit from marriage much more than women do, especially when there are children involved. When most women get married, they do it for love, stability, and some level of happiness. When most men get married, they do it for the benefits that a woman brings to the relationship in terms of nurturing, tolerance, and how much crap she's willing to take once those boundaries are pushed. And I'm not at all saying that all men are like this, but the majority of you are. Most times, the rating of a good woman is based upon how much bullshit she's willing to take, how much bullshit she's willing to tolerate. Let's continue. We don't care about women no more. Go be independent and watch us with foreign women who you can't compete with. Again, there's that infantile mindset. Sure, listen, I could care less what you do. You think that threatening me with that is somehow going to make me feel bad about myself? I don't give a rat's ass what you do, sweetheart. So far, the passport bros aren't doing too well. You're being watched for sex tourism. Some of you are being deleted in foreign countries because you're so ignorant. You think that your degeneracy is accepted in other cultures, and it isn't. Some of you are having to take to social media, begging your followers for money because you can't afford change fees on tickets with cheap airlines. And after being dragged by the same social media, you have the audacity to pretend that it was some sort of social experiment. Really? <laughs> It's a real shit show, but I'll tell you what, it's not my funeral. It's entertaining though. Plus, what is there to brag about? Getting your passport as a grown ass man when some of us have been traveling internationally since we were kids and engaging in interracial relationships since we were old enough to date. We call it normal life. Only you get excited and giddy over it because you think it's a flex. You look stupid. You sound ignorant and extremely uncultured. But then again, ignorant people judge other people based on their own lack of knowledge about the world they live in. Let's continue. Women don't do nothing but dress up for attention. Never do you shoot your shot and the net proves you do nothing. Sounds like a major case of bitterness and rejection. Who hurt you? Oof, very unattractive. 
So continue with your videos and TikTok and whatever BS platform you can vent on. Oof, <laughs> sour grapes. Sour grapes, anyone? Do you hear that? That is the sound of bitterness. Men are making their own plans. And remember, you hit the wall while men age like fine wine. Really? Hmm, is that right? That's very interesting. Fine wine, did you say? Hmm, mm, mm, mm. Very interesting. Yeah. What do you mean? Deshaun. Deshaun from where? Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, how old are you, Deshaun? 29. What's the problem? You didn't hear the question. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You said where I'm from. I said Detroit. You said how old are you? I said 29. No, yeah, I said how old are you? I said 29. That means how many how many years have you been on Earth? Fine wine, huh? Pot belly, erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, receding hairline, long nose hairs, long ear hairs, diabetes. Am I getting warm? Shall I continue? But okay, whatever you say, sir. Fine wine it is. Let's continue. Women don't need us, but can't shut up about MGTOW or passport bros. Make it make sense. Oh, you're emotional. Let me just advise you on something. It's you are, not your emotional. But I digress. Oh, you're emotional. I forgot. Logical thinking isn't something emotionally damaged women can do. Hmm. That's very interesting, especially coming from a very emotionally damaged man. But then again, as the saying goes, it takes one to know one, does it not? Now, I was saving the following video for what would have been the next upload. But since he made the claim that women hit the wall and men aged like fine wine, let's take a look at the following. Shall we? Bro. What? I need I need to say something. What? What do you need to say? When you met me, I wasn't a real man. A lot of things I didn't understand. Uh, I didn't understand being a man. You know, a lot of times we men call ourselves men. But we don't have no idea the meaning of, of being a real man. I've I've talked to you crazy before in my life. I've disrespected you. I've mistreated you several times because of my ego and who I am. But it takes a man, real man to acknowledge his wrongdoings. And all I want to say is I apologize for the wrong that I've caused you. I apologize for us not having a house right now. I apologize for all the hurt I bought in your life. And I want you to know from this day forward, I will be the man that you always wanted in life. Because I love you. You have shown me that you got my back. You have shown me that you're a real woman. And it don't get no better than that. And I always wanted what best for you. That's all I ever want, what best for us. Never cheated on you. All that crap that you were saying, none of that. I always stood right beside you. Whether it was good or bad, I'm still standing there trying to help you overcome. That's what I noticed. That's what I noticed. Through my drug addiction. 
through my ego, you always was there. And yes, I'm ready to be in my own house. That's no problem. I can get you in that. Because I'm finna rock, I'm finna go straight in there, straight in there. I don't want nothing else to drink. I don't want no drug. I don't want none of that crap that's gonna kill me and have me in my grave. And like the doctor said, I got you there just in time. Cause you didn't have a pulse heart. He, he sure said did. I barely he said the doctor said I you barely had a pulse when I bring you in. I understand that. And they rush you up here I so just, they can get you the treatment that you need because they didn't have it down there. Yeah, I just want to apologize and show you the real meaning of a man. I own up to my wrongdoings, and I want to make things better. I love you. I love you, too. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> fine wine, indeed. Would you like some cheese with your fine wine? It's the delusion of a lot of these Wakanda Kings and the audacity to think that they deserve a quality woman for doing absolutely nothing at all. But wait, there's more fine wine coming your way, ladies. Let's take a listen. Well, it happened. I was worried about my mother seeing the hospice care video, not because she was a hospice care wife. See, her and my dad had been married for 10 years before I was even born. She was a stay-at-home mother. She got a brand new car every two years. We had ballet lessons, charm lessons, piano lessons, violin lessons, the nicest clothes, a nice house. You know, we had all of that. So when my dad became ill, it was very logical and it was her honor to be able to take care of a man that took care of her when she was young and helped her to have the life that we were able to live. So she called me today after seeing that hospice care video and I thought she was going to be angry with me because she's real concerned about people's feelings and I am too and to my friends out there that are upset with me because you know I'm talking about you having become a hospice care wife. I'm not putting you down. I'm just trying to warn other women so that they don't fall into the same trap of marrying a man who is sick, who's marrying you for a come up, who's marrying a woman because he's looking for a hospice care wife, some woman whose home that he can lay up in, rake up a million dollars and use up all her medical benefits until he dies. And then it's like the kids show up, kicking the door. Ah, okay, you can go back and look at the video. You know what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, mama says, you know, you're... Well, one of our relatives, a male who is 63 years old, showed up at the house and knocked on the door over the weekend and asked my mother if she would go down to the lottery office because he had won some money in the state lottery. And because he is having his wages garnished for child support at 63 years old and his daughters are 40 something years old, that he wanted her to cash it in. He would give her some money because the child support was going to take it. So his stimulus taken. Any income tax, taken. Anytime he works, wages garnished. So yeah, this hospice care thing is real. So if you think about that, if you marry this 62-year-old man, if you marry him and he is having his wages and stimulus taken and everything taken for the child support, that now becomes your burden. Ladies, do not become a hospice care wife. Fine wine? Sure, I'll take a glass of your finest Moussigny wine with a hint of geriatric blackmail, s'il vous plaît. Fucking clowns. The truth of the matter is, most of you males are inadequate when it comes to relationships. Most of you were abandoned by the males who helped create you, and so you know nothing about stability or relationships in general. Everything you claim to know about relationships is something you've learned from the incel groups on the internet. And the biggest one of all being the manosphere, a toxic place where losers congregate to bash black women and trauma bond over the sperm donors who abandoned them. It's weird how you males have a lot of vitriol for black women but won't address your brokenness with your sperm donors. You know, 
The ones who left you behind and didn't claim you because they couldn't be bothered? It wasn't that long ago when I had another one of you passport bros tell me how you were going overseas to be with other women. Okay, and what's your point? <laughs> Why? Why do you need to make an announcement? Just do it. I urge you to do it. Again, you keep insisting on talking to me about it, and I don't give a shit. Matter of fact, I support Passport Bros. Do you know why? Black women need to take a break from the likes of you. Do your thing. If going to foreign nations is something that makes you happy, I don't see why that's any of my business. I'm not on the market, so you're not dating me. Absolutely not. And even if I were, I would not be looking in the direction of any of you nakers. <laughs> so there's that. Even if I were single, I wouldn't be desperate enough to date any of you. So I still don't understand why you keep bothering me, trying to talk to me about your plans. Go, go, shoot, bye-bye. Okay, see ya. Nobody cares. I do not care. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you keep bothering me? Leave me alone. Go overseas. Find your fit, feminine, and friendly exotical who will submit to you 24-7. Good luck with that, though. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> point we all know that most of you will brag about going to these places right in the comment sections of your favorite content creators right but the truth is the truth is the truth is majority of you can't afford it okay and that's the comedy of it all you know it and i know it and everybody knows it's all a bunch of fucking shite. And that's the funny part. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, one of your brothers got stranded in the DR with $15 to his name after his dumbass showed up to the airport late for check-in. He couldn't afford $100, a $100 change fee to reschedule his flight. He turned on his camera and started e-begging, asking his subscribers to send him money, asking his subscribers to donate a hundred dollars so he could get home yo 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 <clears throat> what up y'all i'm here still in dr i missed my flight last night i just got off the phone with spirit i'm waiting on him to call me back it's a hundred dollar reschedule fee uh, I basically, I need to, I need a cash app, guys. I need a cash app to try to get this fee together, man. I'm so sick right now. I'm sick as hell. I've been trying to call Kayla because I know she's like in the area. So I was trying to call her to like set something up to where I can get like some actual money because I'm hungry. I have very little bread left. I maybe got like fifteen dollars. I'm just calling on the subscribers now to see can I get another hundred to uh to get the reschedule fee. They try to make me book for a whole nother ticket. I can argue with that guy. I don't got them customer service with Spear for about 
had to be at least 45 minutes. I'm damn near, I don't know if y'all can hear, I didn't lay up, lost my voice yelling between, yelling up there and then yelling at customer service. Yeah, man, this trip turned out to be so bad, yo. I took a, yeah, this trip was so crazy, guys. I got spirit calling me back, but I just know I needed to hop on here and just see if you guys can help your boy out. Get your boy out. After going viral and being clowned on social media, he then claimed it was a social experiment. <laughs> Where? Why? With all the lies. We all know that was a lie because it certainly looked like a real struggle when he had tears rolling down his face on camera with crust in his eyes talking about, I'm hungry. The funniest part of his video was the comment section. Let me read some of those comments, shall I? The first comment says, what does the manosphere say about quote unquote, lack of accountability? Great question, because there's this theme in the busosphere where these males are obsessed with holding black women accountable. When Bozo the Clown missed his flight, he kept complaining about the airline and how he was never going to fly with Spirit Airlines ever again. If only he had woken up just a little bit earlier, he could have made his flight. Your inexperience in international travel is exactly what led to those issues because you thought you were back at home going on a domestic flight. There is a huge difference in boarding times, dummy. The next comment says, got eye boogers and crust, but American women are undesirable. You don't even have a hundred dollars for a flight change. He did look very ashy and crusty. Plus he said he was hungry too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Not so high value, huh? The next comment says, ladies, behold the high value man you're supposed to submit to and let lead you. Exactly. How does someone like this feel entitled to any relationship with the opposite sex when he doesn't have the means to even help himself? And the last comment says, this has made my Sunday. This has got to be the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Me too. That shit was hilarious. So yeah, I support passport bros in search of greener pastures. Go out there and live your best lives. Just do me a favor. Leave black women out of it. Majority of us do not care what you're up to. As long as you leave black women alone. We won't talk about you as long as whatever you have to do doesn't involve the deletion of black women. If it does, however, you will be exposed and put on blast. You better hurry up. Those hot, sexy, submissive, soft and feminine women aren't going to wait forever. You don't want them hitting the wall before you get there, do you? <coughs> chop, chop. Time is off the essence. You better hurry up. <laughs> Where are the clouds? Send in the clouds. On that note, what are your thoughts on what's been discussed here today? Please leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, ladies, if you wish to get married with or without children, or if you choose to be single and child free, that's your choice to make. Please make sure that if you do decide to get married, your life partner has aligning views on life, love, and morality. Don't bend over backwards to try and accommodate someone else's needs while yours remain unfulfilled. Love is a two-way street. And that must be respected on both sides, by both parties. Don't allow others to determine your worth. Set your boundaries with absolute clarity and let your position be known at all times. Thank you so much for watching. 
I appreciate you being here and many thanks to those of you who will catch the playback. This is the diamond chrysalis. Divest like a butterfly. Bye diamonds.